Definitely a windy one out today, but it's warm out. It's supposed to be like 62 degrees today. I'm kind of looking forward to that. It's supposed to be warm for the next couple of days, and then it gets back down into the like the upper 30s, lower 40s for a solid week or so, and yeah, can't really complain with with any of this weather. So we did pick up something new. Um, it's kind of a quick buy type deal, but we ended up getting a seed tender. We wanted to get one of our own, um, otherwise we usually borrowed one. And we only wanted a two banger. The one that we were using was a four. Now that we have a two banger, it'll just be a hell of a lot easier to pull than the four since we do have half tons. Um, we've got a couple of 2500s, but you know, we can pull it with both a half ton or a three quarter ton. We could pull that with a half ton or the four banger with the half ton, but it just, it was kind of hard. So we just ended up using the 2500s, but eventually down the line, uh, at least on my end, we're gonna have one less 2500. We wanted something smaller, we could pull easy. So we are actually starting work on the sprayer here. We were originally going to take these section valves off, but now we're keeping them on because so the original problem I had with these with the egg leader is they would open really slow. So it kind of sounds like our problems will be solved with that or they won't. We want to keep them there just in case we have something go wrong or we have to take an end cap off or a nozzle body or something that we're not dumping a whole bunch of stuff out of the tank. And there is a lot of chemical that sits from the valve to shut off the tank to the booms you know, throughout the booms that would drain out and we don't really want to have that problem. So that's why we're, they're staying on. So worst comes to worst, if, if they go, if they still open slow, I will take and turn on the master valve or the master switch and open them up and then unplug them. And then just they're solidly open and then comes to the time when, okay, there's a problem, I'll just plug them back in and shut them. So that's kind of the plan there. Got most of the nozzle bodies on. Now we're just sitting here working on this here. So this mounting bracket, the U-bolt was shot. So I'm trying to find another one. I don't know, we'll have to make something up if we can't find anything. Hey, you get something? Uh, actually, I can make something if this piece doesn't work. We're just, we're gonna try to make a bracket here for this. Right? Trying to get some kind of U-bolt to hold rack it up Just trying to get that fixed and it's another day of the wind being extremely bad sorry about all the wind noise in this in this video isn't really any way to get around it but it is the next day we worked on the sprayer and we got all the nozzle bodies on yesterday and then the PDM mounted fixed some of the uh, brackets that hold the boom pipes on and mess around with a couple other things. So today I'm going to put the NCMs on here. Hopefully I've had a morning and a half. We had to go get the brackets ordered for the vertical till and just it's all costing a lot of money. So this thing is already over what we wanted to pay, but to put these new blades on, but brackets have to be on there. Otherwise we will break the old ones. So I had to get those on order and they are back ordered right now. So the next video we're gonna start working on this, which that, that that's gonna start tomorrow. Um, we're gonna get the, we're gonna work a little bit on the spur yet, and then we're just gonna park her in the shed. Cause we're supposed to get some rain here, I think Wednesday night or tomorrow night. We're gonna get as much as we can done on it. We are still waiting for parts for it. Um, the one thing that we are waiting for yet is the the cable that goes from the battery to the PDM. We we're waiting for that and we're also figuring out that there are still leaking hoses on here. I know this one is coming from a cylinder. That cylinder there. These puddles, I don't know. They might just be coming from this lift cylinder. Yeah, coming from this lift cylinder. Some of those are gonna have to get addressed. We replaced a few hoses up in here. These two, this one was done last summer. And then where was the other one? This one right back here. And now it's just the fact of 
putting new seals in the at least those two and then we have another one up over uh, that folds out that end boom there get this thing folded out so we did mount a couple of ncms so this is kind of what it'll look like so then these four here i believe will go into that one i don't know we just kind of threw it on the boom so that one it looks like I'm gonna fire this thing up and just let it warm up a little bit before I fold it out with these booms if you if it's cold they like to kind of move really far back and that'll hit the shed so we almost smoked the shed yesterday I want to try to prevent it so the booms don't shoot back but I'm gonna get this folded out and start working on it. I'm not sure if this is where the Gen 3 is gonna be or where the 700s are gonna be. Uh, I kinda like to have the Gen 3 here cause I know I'll be pressing a lot on it, but also the 700, I'll probably be doing an equal amount with that as well. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I don't really think it matters. It probably wouldn't hurt having the 700 right here. And I'm hoping that this is out of here and we'll be able to read pressures off of this, which I assume that we will be able to. I think I figured that out just sitting here talking. I think I'm gonna put the 700 here and then keep the Gen 3 there. Cause then I can watch the Gen 3, you know, cause I'll probably have my eyes on the Gen 3 more than I will the 700. 700 is only there for auto steer. And then it, it will have some, it'll have the sprayer punched in, and have the sprayer control, but the only reason for that is so it can recognize this machine. And of course, some has to break. Freaking thing off of my camera mount. It's one of those days. I'll try and get this thing folded out. Hopefully we don't. Smoke a shed. Yeah, those things are going back. It doesn't help that I'm on a hill either. I'm trying to keep it low to the ground so it hits the boom hits the ground before it hits the the shop. Today's just a expensive day. This isn't necessarily expensive, but <laughs> it's more money that goes out. Oh God. Oh, that almost became a door too. We're gonna take and run the planter up to my uncle's shop here. Cause it's gonna start cooling down now and I guess we're just trying to, you know, keep projects going. That's why we're kind of hopping from one thing to the next. Vertical till is on hold now until we get those mounting brackets. Because we, we just, we can't do anything and I don't want to take all the gangs off yet. We'll see what happens. As of right now, that project is on hold uh, until we get stuff for it. So, and supposedly those are on back order. So I'm not sure when it's gonna come. Funny thing, we were just talking that we needed a couple of parts here um, before dad and I and well, Five minutes after we got done talking about it, the UPS truck pulled up with them. So we got all the load sensors and we got some mounting brackets for um, the V-Apply HDs for on, to put them on the parallel arms. So they're not, we, we don't have to plumb them from up there. 
from up on the bar where the other three are so well now they'll be mounted down uh on the parallel arm so it's gonna clean a whole lot of stuff up thing too that we're gonna have to put in here or just plug in the rest of the way or we have to make a plug for it for one of the auxiliaries but we got a cord or we got something now on here that lifts the furrow force units up with the delta force for road travel because these things sit so low to the ground because because this tongue is so long um, so now we're just we're, we got that made up and and it's all wired in. We just have to make the plug for the auxiliary. It got plugged in like right before, we, we put it in right before spring and then we just we started literally the next day. So I am gonna get out and plug the rest of all the hoses in and everything. And then we're gonna take her up there. All right, I need a rig. hose I'm putting in right now is the drain, the big drain. Oh, which at the end of the day is not going very easy. Sorry about the dad noises here. Oh. Okay, it was. E <laughs> oh my god, that's dumb. That went in real easy. And then you got the drain for the Delta Force. It's easier when the tractor's off, I guess. There isn't too much pressure in the system. And we'll take this cap, came off of that big old drain, throw that right over here. Which, okay, I'll throw it up in the cap because the box is in there. Gotta keep it off because we're gonna clean out that battery bay really good. So let me put that right by the seat. Should be all set to go. It looks okay. For now, we'll worry about. I'm not too worried about it fully being organized. We're gonna redo some of those wires so it's more neat when we're up there. Getting fired up to go plant. Alright, so we're just finishing up here for the day. I'm gonna just throw this into the shed. They are talking for some possible rain tonight, and I don't really want this all wet, so I'm going to resume working on it tomorrow. We 
got half of the NCMs on. Just kind of got thrown aside here. Kind of got, kind of put it on the side burner here just because we took the planter to the shop and, and then we talked for a while and went over to look at a field because tomorrow I want to take it. Uh, we got some food plot corn that we want to go combine, so which isn't much, it's two passes. But. Time changed ahead last weekend, and for whatever reason, days just seem to be flying by. So, or I should say, the hours seem to be flying by. It's already like 4:45. So, we're gonna do a couple other things here and call our quits for the day. We are still gonna do some wire management and rearranging them, but we're kind of just getting them hooked on for now, so then we can get this all plugged into the monitor and get it everything fired up and just make sure it's reading each one right. We'll most likely put some water into the tank and then hopefully spray some stuff out, but not gonna do that for a solid week or so because they're talking cold weather and I don't really wanna take the RV antifreeze out of the tank. So whenever it warms up, we'll do that. But I wanna get everything located under the computer um, and just depends on how cold it gets, so. Um, but most of the wiring and everything should be hooked together and hopefully hooked to the PDM. And then we got a couple of long wires that we gotta wire up to the cab and then into the pump. So, strictly wiring. So, we're gonna wrap the video up here. Hope you all enjoyed. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Hit the like button down below and uh, leave a comment. Hope you all enjoyed. Catch you later.